once you get your new iPad, you need to set it up. You can now do it on the device, right over the air. You're gonna swipe to set up. It welcomes you in many official languages. It will usually pre-populate with the languages near you, but if you have to, you can click the downward arrow and choose from a bunch of them. It will never automatically go on for you. You'll always have to physically press an arrow or a next button. It knows that I'm in Canada, but again, if you need more regions, you can just show more. You pick the region that you are in and you hit next. Location services, this is a global setting. So if you um, enable location services, it just means that you can use them in any app. They're not on by default, but you can use them in any app and the system lets you use it uh, to do various things. If you disable location services overall, you will not be able to, for example, uh, check in with location services, use um, GPS, uh, geotag your images, do anything at all that involves location. So I'm going to enable them for now and I can always turn them off in an individual basis later. And I'm hitting next again. I'm going to choose a Wi-Fi network. So here I have a micro SIM card. I'm just going to pop the SIM out, put that aside. It's a micro SIM, it's small, so you have to be careful. I'm going to turn the iPad over, insert the micro SIM card, I'm going to push the SIM tool in, pop the card out, pull it out, take my card, insert it in, slide the SIM card back in, turn it over, continue. It's going to check to see if there's any carrier settings. Every carrier has different settings for the iPad. Now, you can choose to set up as a new iPad, restore from an iCloud backup, or restore from an iTunes backup. Um, restoring from a backup means you get all your apps, all your settings. I don't generally like that because I think it's sometimes buggy and sometimes has um, worse battery life. But if you have a ton of things already set up on your iPad, you might not want to redo them all from scratch. I'm going to set this up as a new iPad just to show you. I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID. So your Apple ID could be your iTunes ID, it could be your iCloud ID. Um, if you've previously set up iMessage or FaceTime, you have an Apple ID, you can use any one of them and you can change it later, so it's not a big deal. You have to agree to Apple's terms of service, not once but twice. Now it's going to set up your Apple ID, which could take a few minutes as well. Now it's going to ask you if you want to set up iCloud. I recommend for most people most of the time to use iCloud. It's free for the basic level of service and it's just super functional. I also recommend you back up to iCloud rather than a computer because it happens invisibly. You don't have to worry about doing it. It just works and it's, it's really bad if you ever have to restore and you haven't made a backup. I'm going to use Find My iPad as well. That means if I ever lose it or misplace it or it's stolen, I can try to track it down. Um, you can choose to send Apple diagnostic information, and I would rather not, so I'm choosing don't send. Uh, I can register with Apple right on the device. And now it's ready to go. I'm going to start using my iPad. And there is that retina display. That was the new iPad, and I'm Renee from iMore.com.